Hello, and welcome to another episode of My Unfortunate Life Choices. Today, we are gonna be reviewing one of the nastiest restaurants in Los Angeles. So I went and did a lot of research because it's not easy finding one star reviewed restaurants. It really isn't. I had to go through about 800 restaurants to find one with one star, and that is some random buffet. So we're gonna go try this buffet out because if the reviews are exactly what it says, I'm gonna read a couple of these before we go there. If there was an option for no stars, I would put it. Food was horrible, flavorless, and smelled bad. When it comes to food, I'm not picky. So me saying it bad, I meant it. The place itself was old, outdated, and smelled of a retirement home. Yum, just how I like my steak, retired. One star, nothing that it used to be. The food was old, flavorless. I felt that my money was stolen. Wow, I guess he didn't like the customer service there. She even attached a photo, let's read. We've been sitting next to this dirty table for one entire hour. Food sucks, the chicken was literally pink. The mac and cheese was shit, and the photo looks disgusting. Yum, dirtiness. So I figured, me being the reviewer that I am and really giving my honest opinion about everything I do, I feel like I should go there. I should try this place, and I should let the world know whether or not this place deserves one star. Because if it doesn't, I will hop on Yelp, and I will give it the stars that they need. So let's go over to this restaurant, let's try this food, and let's hope to not get food poisoning. Here we go. Have y'all ever eaten this place? Yeah, that shit. Lame. <laughs> yeah. why, why are you guys like doing a vlog? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, this shit fing sucks. I seen ants and rodents in my fing like 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 running around and shit. I seen ants on the plates like sick. and they got an A. Look, check that out. That should be a big ass F right there. <laughs> so what would you rate this place? Zero, negative zero. Bacon tastes like rocks, my boy. My boy has jokes, but does he have taste? I wanted to figure it out for myself, so that's exactly what we did. How you guys doing today? Doing alright, how are you doing? Are you? It's been a long day? It's a long day. It's only gonna get busier, right? With the holidays? I hope so. Be honest with you. This question was alarming because why would you ask for more when you're already over your head? All I'm saying is that for the first initial walkthrough, the food doesn't look bad. The food looks pretty good for a one star place. It must taste like absolute shit. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna try it. Though. Even he was like, yo, I, I hope it gets busier here. Yeah, that's true. It's only gonna get busier, right? With the holidays? I hope so. Be honest with you. It doesn't look bad. You guys are complaining on Yelp for no reason. Like, so far the food looks delicious. I'm gonna enjoy every bite of it. I'm excited. We don't allow because of our competitors. We don't allow pictures of our marks. Oh, got it. Okay. You can take pictures of your They so said because of competitors. Dude, you got a two-star review. I don't think you have to worry about competitors. I think you got to worry about your meals and how delicious they are. Wait, before like I judge anything, I need to taste it because this is what you guys have me here for. I do the jobs that you guys don't want to do. Okay, I understand now. Very dry. I've never had pizza where I don't have any taste. Hold on. Okay, Jake's gonna try something now. All right, so I'm going for this pasta. I don't even know what flavor it is. It looks like just cheese. Let's go for it. I mean, like, it kind of has, like, a kind of good taste, but it's, like, it doesn't. That's weird, yo. Okay, so their food looks very juicy and appetizing, but when you put it in your mouth, there's no flavor. Yeah, like, like you want to believe that it tastes it's good. It's soggy. I feel like it's watered down. That's what the issue is. Mac and cheese looks good. I'm not going to lie. This shit looks bomb. It tastes like water. That's a f***ing letdown. First, we're gonna go with the smell test. Let me give it a whiff. It smells like nothing. Like, I smell the rice. I can smell yeah. the rice, that's it. Like there's a very small hint of, yeah. like, of like a Mexican spice. Talk about me. Really? Talk about me. Look at me, we're just sharing food over here. Oh, that is talk about me. It's the exact Exact thing. talk about me. What I just spent 30 bucks for, you can get a taco bell for $2. I can't, I can't, I don't know if I can eat this. I feel like you have to clear your plate before you get another one, right? Oh, I understand now. This is what they're talking about. Do you guys see the pink fucking meat? It's pink. That is as pink as the devil's ass. I'm gonna ask the workers, what do they think about their one star review? Why do they think they have it? I'm, I'm trying out like the lowest reviewed places in Los Angeles. And I figured I'd come here first because it was the lowest one that I found. Why do you think it has such low review? Uh, because people don't do that. People don't, don't put comments. You don't think so? Only no. bad people that don't yeah, like the food? A lot of, we have a lot of customers, so many here. And they just keep coming and back? They, they don't comment. So the new people is the one who comment. And if ah. you have something bad to say, they're gonna say it. But right. if you have something, something good. good to say, they won't say it. Okay, that makes so, sense. Yeah, yeah, well I was just curious because I saw such low ratings. And I'm like, do you think that like affects 
like people's opinions? So. No. Probably you guys like the youngest people. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's what I think. Do you enjoy the food? Oh, uh, yeah. I think it's. Yeah, I like it. But you, you have to know what to do. Right. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Yeah. Clearly, she's never had the pizza or the chicken or the steak. I'm judging off reviews and then actually tasting food. And let me tell you, this place deserves one star. It really does. It's because the food is bland, it has no flavor. Like, there's no flavor. It sounds like everything was just cooked with no love put into anything. I got a new piece of pizza, because look, they put out a fresh pizza, so I figured, you know, maybe that pizza was old. Let me give it a benefit of the doubt, let me try again. That one actually looks pretty good. You see, it would be good if the dough was cooked. Worst buffet in Los Angeles. I don't want to like really say what they are because I don't want to like disfigure restaurants and like you know put them down and get sued for like I don't know saying bad stuff. So look how hard these cookies are. Wow. Like they've probably been there all day since like 8 a.m. Or probably you know since yesterday at 8 a.m. Look at that per perfect wow. ice cream. Let's sprinkle it up a little bit. Alright guys, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please smash the thumbs up button. As always, join the Taylor family by hitting the subscribe button, turning on post notifications so you never miss a post. Cheers, Jake. Oh, you already had it. The sprinkles are good. <laughs> that's, that's literally it. I feel like I'm eating flavored ice. I'll see you guys next time on the next review. Peace. Make sure you guys check out yesterday's video and also make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and turn on post notifications so you never miss a post. Follow me on my other social medias and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.